Hello fellas, I'm back in my happy place today working on my uh, log pile and I You can see them there. I don't have too many logs left But what I got is uh, one stick of ash. that's just small and normal, but it'll be nice and then I've got one magnificent uh, Long trunk of locust that I've that I've been saving towards the end that I'm really looking forward to cutting and it's so heavy that I can barely lift it with my excavator. Um, I got to cheat and use the front push blade and, and some of the different things on there to try to get the thing up to lift it to get it out of the pile. Um, it's actually the one in the video where I was unloading the trailer that I dropped. And uh, I'm lucky I didn't mess up the fender on my uh, on my dump trailer. But, but anyway, I want to share that with you, cutting that up because I've been looking forward to it this whole time. And then I'm going to whack up my other stuff too. Uh, but let me show it to you and I'll get my saw running here and, and get it warming up. And then we're going to cut into some locust, which is uh, one of the best firewoods that I can get in my area. So we'll uh, get to it and I hope you guys are having a good day and, and, uh, and finding things that you enjoy doing in life. This is that chunk of locust. And I got some uh, feelers on there that I got to cut off. But I'm going to say this thing is, uh, uh, I, oh well, it's less than 14 foot long. Because that's how long my dump trailer is. So I'm going to say it's 11 to 14 foot long. Or maybe uh, 12 to 14. And because it's locust, it's really dense. And uh, just heavier than, heavier than a son of a gun. See the cool bark on it? And then here... There are places where probably the pinchers on my excavator have grabbed it and scarred it up. But let's uh, let's see if we can whack off some feelers here and then carve this thing up. I haven't had this thing running in about four or five days, so let's see how it does. I remember to put my uh, chaps on today. Come on, baby.
you can tell, but when it, when it falls off there and whacks the other glass, you can just tell it's dense and it's heavy. It'll split really nice too because it's harder than the normal stuff I split. It's not going to be stringy or nothing.
How cool is that to get to cut into a, a piece of history like that? Just a, for me, that's awesome. Just hard, good, beautiful wood. Um, and I don't know, is that thing 30 years old, 40, 50, 60 years old? Just gorgeous, dense wood shooting out onto the snow when you cut it, you know. Um, and you could feel the vibration in that chain. I'm going to check my rakers again. Maybe I got something out of whack. Uh, maybe I got... One time I had something similar to this, but a little worse, and I had one of my links slightly bent or t tweaked where it went around the like the drive cog. But I, I don't have the ability to find or fix that because those problems can be so small that I can't see them with my eyes. But I'll check all the stuff I can check. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you uh, watching, and I'll see you on the next one.